Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at some of the open source intelligence gathering tools that are available for us up inside of CSI Linux Investigator. So I'm currently logged on to the CSI Analyst desktop, and down here at the bottom we have a taskbar with a number of icons. And if we scroll on over to the right, you'll see one here that appears to be the outline of a human and a small letter I. So we can go ahead and launch this. This is the CSI Social Media Online Investigations search tool. So we can go ahead and launch that. Now the first thing you have to do is create a case number. And let's talk about that just for a second here. So the case number that you create is going to end up over here in the case folder. So when you open this up, when you're done, you'll have a case inside of here. And whatever the name of the case is that you used, that will be the name of the case folder. And there will be a number of folders. Everything will be broken down by subject. So if you're looking for images or you're looking for email addresses or search results, everything is going to be broken down for you. Let's go ahead and close this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a case number here. Now make sure that when you create this case number that there are no spaces anywhere inside of the name or it won't work. So I'm going to type in case 001 just like that and I'll say OK. Now this comes up and asks you what do you want to search for. You can look for the username search, phone search, Twitter information gathering, Maltigo, Spiderfoot, Hidden Eye, Adult Websites, Username Search, and you can also exit the social media search app. Now if I go over here to the case folder, you'll see that there is the case that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept the default here for the username search. Now you can search for any name that you want here. Um, the username, not the actual name. So if you know if somebody's using a particular username on the internet well you can search for it here so let's just type in my username and now we're going to say OK to that and in just a moment it's going to start going through all of the internet social media sites looking for my username as you can see I'm not really big with using social media and that's why we're not seeing a whole lot of different results here. There are some sites where my username is not showing up, and for that I'm grateful. So once the search has completed, it's going to pull up three different search engines. Now this is so that you can verify the search results. So if you go through the links, we'll go ahead and minimize this. If you go through the links, and it says, would you like to open the findings in a browser? You can say yes or no. We can go ahead and say yes to that. And it's going to open up Chrome. And then you'll be able to search or see the search results that turned up just for you. And these are all the different social media sites where apparently I have an account. It says that I can enter my Instagram username which I'm not going to do at this time because it's not important. So I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. And if I had done that, it would have pulled all of my postings. Or it would have attempted to. Now when you're done here, you can just go ahead and say OK. Or you can click on Exit and say OK. And now you can go on over here. I don't know what we're doing over at the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and minimize this. And we'll go into the case folder here. Inside of the case 01, you see all the evidence is broken down for you by a separate folder and a type. So you've got crime scene photos, export, forensics evidence images, all that fun stuff that you may gather and put into this case. Now, if you're doing a scan or you're doing a pen test, this is something you should be interested in because it's a great way for you to keep yourself very well organized. And if you don't like the name of the folders, well then you can just go ahead and rename them to something else.
Now the CSI investigator comes with a number of open source intelligence gathering tools and you can find them up here inside the applications. So underneath the OSINT online investigations another tool that I like to use is the little brother. I'll go ahead and launch that real quick. Let's go ahead and let it start up. Let's go full screen. And you'll see that you have a number of options here and we want to do a lookup so I'm going to type in number one. I'm going to hit enter. Now you can look up a person or a username, an address, a phone lookup, whatever it is that is available here in the menu, you can look it up. So let's do a username again. And again, I'm going to type in my username. And the reason I like this search engine or this tool is because it's much more in depth. Whoops, I need to type in 2 first. So I'm going to type in 2. Now it wants my pseudo name, so I'm going to type in C. And I'll hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to come back with a whole long list of results. So you can look up anybody in here, and you can get up a lot of information about them, where they've been, what they've been posting, uh, anything that happens to deal with them. It's, as far as me being an instructor, you see that I have a SimpLive account, and I'm an author on that site. And there's some other, there's some other things. Uh, here's a story about me receiving a one-month a one suspension for organizing a denial-of-service attack up on Udemy. And, of course, I also am an instructor on Udemy. So there's a lot of information that they're finding out about my username and where it's available all over the Internet. So you can do this with anybody's username. So the whole point of this being is if you're doing a discovery and you need to find out information about a particular target, which usually is a person or a bank or whatever it is, then you have to do this open source intelligence gathering that we just did here to get as much information about your target as possible. And the nice thing about the CSI investigator is that it builds cases for you. So you can go in here and get the information once it's all been categorized for you. And you'll also note that a lot of the tools for open source intelligence gathering that you find in Cali are also available up here inside of the CSI Linux investigator, such as Montego. And you can go up in here and you can find Metagoofill and some other tools that you might see up inside of Kali, well, you're probably going to find those same tools over here, along with a number of other tools that you may not be interested in, but they are fun and you can actually use them to get some more information. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on open source intelligence gathering using the CSI Linux Investigator Analyst Desktop. So if you have any questions or concerns about anything that was shown to you in this short video, please do not hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.